How will the health and wellness fair impact our school district and community? The health and wellness fair is providing our school district, our students and our staff, and our community members, the families, their siblings, anyone that is part of the family by educating them on some issues in the community related to their health and wellness. It's also giving them resources to go to in case they have questions or concerns about their own personal health. You know, the idea behind having a health and wellness fair at the open house is to bring people from the community in to see all the good things that are going on within our high school and also to connect the good people in our community with the good services that all the vendors that are at this fair provide. Hi, what's your name? I am Dr. Diane Sarther. I teach nursing at Morton College. Okay, can you show us what we have going over here? Um, actually, the students of I and I have uh, come to help the uh, community learn about good nutrition. We realize that obesity, diabetes, blood pressure are all big issues, and a lot of it's food-centered. So what we have here at our table is a pretty brightly colored uh, display, and in this display are some really good food choices. When we look at the foods, we can see that we get plenty of our B vitamins from the very bright green broccoli, uh, potassium and other electrolytes as well as vitamin A from the tomatoes. The carrots, of course, are touted for being good for our eyes, and that's true. Um, it's because it has vitamin A. There's crackers, which are complex carbohydrates, and to top off the crackers with some protein, we use hummus. Hummus is a chickpea or a garbanzo bean, might be another way that you can say that. And the chickpea garbanzo beans are very high in protein while they stay very, very low in fats. In fact, they have almost no saturated fat at all. So let's eat. Why did you decide to participate in the Health and Wellness Fair? Well, I think it's a great opportunity to work with the public and help them learn about health topics. Our poster today is on simple first aid, and uh, it's important to know about first aid so that you can prevent complications. What can you tell us about your table and organization? Well, uh, we have a simple table about uh, just treating simple wounds and puncture, uh, puncture wounds as well. How to call 911 and in case of an emergency, also, how to stock a simple first aid kit and um, restock it as needed. And some basic information on one of the most important things you can do in regards to first aid, which is wash your hands. Washing hands can literally save lives. So very important to always do that first and after you're working with a simple wound. What can you tell us about the first annual health and wellness fair? Uh, we're excited that we had the first annual one and we're looking forward to the second annual health and wellness fair. There are 50 vendors here for our first event. Um, it's, really, it's really exciting to see people within the Cicero and Berwyn community coming out to Morton West High School, wanting to engage the parents and the students that are in this school to talk about things that are critically important, like our, our own health and well-being. The main goal of the health and wellness fair was just to get information to the community members about um, health issues that are affecting our community like our diabetes, um, obesity, physical activity and just getting that information to them and letting them know where there are resources in our community that they can go to. The first annual health and wellness fair is, is awesome. I'm so happy with it. I'm happy with the amount of vendors we had show up. I mean over 45 vendors showing up and offering different health and wellness um, facts, uh, information, how to improve their health. When we talked about the open house, what we want to do is provide an activity that would engage the community more, not just in the school, but in a, um, a series of information that will certainly help them with their daily lives, both for our students as well as their families. Why did you decide to participate in the Health and Wellness Fair? Because I feel it's important that we provide the community with some resources to help them become healthier individuals. Hi, what's your name? Hi, my name is Cheryl Jastrzewski. I am the Stroke Coordinator at McNeil Hospital in Berwyn. How are you involved with the Health and Wellness Fair? In the Health and Wellness Fair, I want everyone to know what the signs of a stroke are. Would you like me to review them with you? Sure. sure. Signs of a stroke are you look at the face to see if the person has a face droop. You ask the person to put two arms out to see if one of them drifts down or if the speech is slurred, then it's time to call 911 immediately for that person, friend or family member. Why did you decide to participate in the Health and Wellness Fair? Because I want everyone in Berwyn to know what a stroke is, to take immediate care, and I also want to help people prevent a stroke, to know your risk factors. 
risk factors for stroke are high blood pressure, smoking, elevated cholesterol levels, and so it's very important to take care of yourself. Hi, what's your name? Adriana Ortiz. Why did you decide to participate in the Health and Wellness Fair? Well, I work for Corazon Community Services in the health department, so we try to get to many fairs, whether it be Cicero or Berwyn Health related to like get our word out, get people to make healthier choices by you know promoting healthy items. What can you tell us about your table and organization? Uh, well, our organization is um, service. We provide after-school programs. We like I said, we uh, now have a healthy hotspot initiative going with stores that are providing healthier items in their corner stores, which is really good. So a lot of services for the youth, adults, and elderly.